Next up is going to be a platforming section. This section isn't too bad. It seems a lot worse than it is, but it's not too bad if you know some safe strats. I like to go about to the edge of this seal here. Let him come to me. Safely capture him from a distance. Turn around and start poking. Let him walk into me. Go over these question mark blocks. Get rid of all of them. Poke in. Hop up here. Hop up here. Go around this guy. Take out this one first. Turn around. Take out this one. Okay. Around that one. Take out that one. Turn around. Take out the other. From here, there's a spot up there that these... If you try to go up this way, those... There's going to be some balls trying to take you out, okay? So I like to actually climb the question mark blocks. Like that. Yeah, those are the uh, bombs that are going to try to take you out. So safe distance. Wait till that guy is about there. Hop up, take him out. Same thing here. Safe distance, hop up, take him out. Now this spot. <laughs> there are going to be bombs. If we jump up here and just spam poke... It's super safe. We can do this section indefinitely. Take one out, jump up here, poke, okay? Jump up here, take one out. And we can ju just hang out here indefinitely. It is super safe to just keep the bird, hop up, spam, super safe. Even if our angle is off, look at this, look at this. Look how off our angle can be and we can still be safe. That's how safe we are as long as we are roughly in the right direction, we are super safe with this section. Hop up here, and that's that. That is how to safely navigate that section. Grab this checkpoint. This guy is going to try to smash us. The easiest way is to stay on the lower, like, like, upper and lower. We're going to stay on this lower path. Just jump up, walk all the way to the edge, and bypass. He will not hit us every time. Walk all the way to the edge, bypass. There we go. Hop our way up here. We can shake, get some extra height. And we can do that, or we can just wait for it to come around as well. If we don't want to, like, do the uh, super fast, we can just kind of wait for it to come around and bring us up. So, there's the first section. This spot, we're going to be aiming for this pad here. There's going to be an overlap where we are safe to fall right here. So this is this strip of white is where we want to start our ascent, okay? Because if we fall, it'll be safe. So right about here, do two shakes, hop up to this one. Two shakes again to get us to here. Make sure your timing is good. Another two shakes, we are done. So there's that section. And we move in to Mecha Brutal, or the Robo Brood, as it's called in the game. But we all know it's called it's called Mecha Brutal. We all know it's Mecha Brutal. <laughs> so yeah, here's Mecha Brutal. Okay, <laughs> there are some. Uh, so there's a fast strat and a slow strat. I absolutely use the slow strat. The fast strat relies on very precise movements if you want to take them out. And if you mess up, it can be kind of messy. So I use the bird. I use Pokio to do this fight. And here's what I do. It's not too bad at all. And uh, there's only a little bit of spots where it seems kind of risky, but it's not too bad at all. Okay. Walk under his legs. Just about here, okay. And we're gonna capture the first bird that pops out and veer to the left. Okay, now we're gonna kind of veer to the right. As soon as we're far back enough, turn around and start poking, okay? Just spam poke, turn around and spam poke. And that, these bombs will come to us. As soon as he gets taken out, we can go over here, get rid of that bird, hop our way up for our first of four hits we'll need. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten back up and now he's going to take a couple of steps before throwing the bombs so I like to make my way back to the edge or somewhere close to the edge and make my way around to the left or the right I chose the right this time and then he's going to start doing that when you think you're far enough away you want to be out of range so that he's 
so that the bombs are not bouncing when they get to you. The bombs will bounce a couple of times, and then they'll start rolling. So make sure you are in a range in which they stop bouncing before they get to you. Otherwise, they might bounce right onto your head, okay? So make your way back here. That should be good. Turn around, just spam poke, and as long as your aim is generally okay, <laughs> you'll, you'll get them taken out. We can now hop up for our second hit. And here's where things get a little hairy after the second hit. Because I'm actually going to leave the Pokio and make my way back here. Give us some distance. And now I'm going to go at an angle. He's going to go rainbow. I'm going to start rolling at an angle. So he bypasses me. Okay, go back here and start rolling again at an angle. He's going to pass us twice. Now we're safe. He's going to go to the middle. So I'm going to make my way back kind of behind him. Wait for him to go into the middle, and now quickly get between his legs, right into the center, exactly into the center, and we are safe right here. We are safe right here. We will not get hit. As soon as he stops, make our way to the edge of the feet, and wait for the bird to pop out. As soon as the bird pops out, throw and shake to home in, and make your way to the left to bypass, okay? He's gonna throw these things. And we can choose to go either left or right. I'll go right this time. And I like to just hop my way to the right. Okay. <laughs> it looks a lot more complicated than it is. But essentially, four bombs. And on the on the fourth, you know, there's going to be three bombs and a bird. That's the pattern, okay? Three bombs and a bird. And then he throws more. When the bird pops out, all of the spinny things will be gone. That's when they disappear. So one, two... Three, and on the fourth, all of these are going to disappear. Now we can, you know, kind of aim for hitting these. Make sure we're far enough back is the idea. We're going to make sure we're far enough back. So just make our way around to the right. Get some distance. And then at an angle. And those things are disappeared. Now we can turn around and be back so that they're not in a position to bounce onto our head. Spam poke, get our first hit. And we're just going to repeat this. This is a safe strategy that is repeatable, and we just kind of guide him in as we want him to be in, you know? So four, and I like to go for the either fifth or the sixth. Turn around, spam poke. That's going to get our other hit here. Take out this bird because he happens to be there. Sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't. Not a big deal. Make our way up for hit number three. This here is going to be the same. Make our way back. He's going to put some more of those spinny things. We don't want to be too far, otherwise we'll circle back around on him. But now we can start working our way around again. It looks a lot more dangerous than it is. One, two, three. Angle. There's the bird. Get this one, turn around, start spamming poke. And you want to keep spamming poke until all of the bombs are done. All of the bombs are detonated. Just keep spamming poke and you should be fine. You don't want to be in a position where you, made a, you make a hit and then the bomb is still coming at you but you've stopped poking. That would be bad. So turn around. That bird is still over there, so he's not going to spam another bird. Okay, now all the bombs are gone. We're going to stop poking and make our way over here. I know it's a lot of information, but <laughs> yeah. It's a nice safe stretch, and that's going to be our hit number four. And that is Robo Brood, or Mecha Brutal, as we all know it's actually called. There's Mecha Brutal, and that is... That is, uh, the, uh... Bowser's Kingdom. That's Bowser's Kingdom. That's all we need. Now we just have to bank the moons and move on to the moon. Next is going to be the Moon Kingdom. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video for Moon Kingdom. Bye bye. Wait, well, actually, yeah, let's <laughs> let's grab this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we just have to grab that multi-moon, bank all of them into the Odyssey, and move on to the Moon Kingdom. All right, there it is. That's Bowser's Kingdom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time with Moon Kingdom, the final section of the game.